It's Thursday, the 19th of April, 2018, and welcome to Navigating Your Day. Uh, Injunction Jitsu, Safety Energy Lock number 19, came into the universe meaning authority and leadership. So Safety Energy Lock number 19 is located on the elbow crease. Just yes, if you bend your arm right there at the crease, if you hold both your elbows like that, then you're holding Safety Energy Lock number 19. And my understanding of the authority and leadership associated with Safety Energy Lock number 19 is that I take responsibility for my life. I am the authority in my life. I am. No one else is. So when we can connect to that energy of the 19, we are able to take full authority for our lives. Now, this is not just the good bits, right? This is for the good bits and what we judge as being the bad bits. So I take responsibility. So this does not mean that the bad things that you judge as bad that have happened in your life are your fault. It is just that you take responsibility for the fact that they are there and that they have happened. And you take responsibility for the fact that you cannot change the perception of other people. You cannot change what happened. But you can work on integrating what happened in such a way that you can help to heal yourself. And that's what the true authority and leadership of Safety Engine Lock number 19, in my opinion, represents. So when you hold safety engine lock number 19, this is a special um, flow in Jinshin Jitsu self-help. It helps to open safety engine lock number 14, which is on either side of the ribs. 14 is about sustenance, balance, adaptability, being able to digest, to detoxify, and to eliminate effectively. You also open safety engine lock number 9, which is at the base of the um, shoulder blade, and 9 is about ending old cycles so that you can move into the future. So you open safety engine lock number 19, you open 14, and you open 9. You open the entire waistline, and the elbow is the waistline of the arm. The shoulder is the bust line, the elbow is the waistline, and the wrist is the hip line. So when you hold safety engine lock number 19, very powerful, helps to ease all sorts of digestive issues, helps to connect the heaven in the body, the top part, with the earth of the body. It also helps to connect heaven, metaphorical heaven, with earth, which is our physiology and our beings. So when we do that, when we regularly hold safety engine lock number 19, we take responsibility for our lives. And safety engine lock number 19 helps us not only take responsibility, but it shows us how to move forward from that point. Um, 19 is a one, of course, and one is about inspiration. It's about I'm here. I'm confident. I deserve to be here. I am worthy. I am enough. That is the essence of the one. One is an air number, so it's very analytical. Lots of thinking, lots of outgoingness, lots of networking, wanting to be with people, very social, very upbeat, very joyful, very airy, right? That's the energy that we can connect with today. It can sometimes be too much up in the air, but luckily we've got the four from um, April, which is an earth number that helps to ground it. That four, remember, is about staying in integrity and truth within yourself, because the one can also go over to egotism in, to, in, in an attempt to, to try and cover. You know, whenever we, we be, when we're too full of ourselves, it's usually because we're trying to cover up our insecurities. So, so the um, covering up the insecurity um, and by, by, by uh, acting as if we think we're better than we are or whatever, that superior, you know, having that superior kind of attitude, um, as I said, that is very often to cover the underlying insecurity. So that is the more reactive person, the part of the one. And the four, the four of April is about staying in integrity. It's about connecting to truth. So it helps us to keep that one from going over into the, it helps us to keep the one grounded and to be real. All right. So that's really useful. And of course, we've got the two from um, 2018, which is a water number. It's about nurturing. It's about appreciating that as much as the one says, it's all about me. Here I am. Boom, baby. Look how amazing I am. The two helps us to appreciate that other people also matter and that we have to, yes, of course, we have to look after ourselves. And yes, we need to put ourselves first, but not at the expense of others. And also that we can, when we put ourselves first and we nurture ourselves first, The next step of that is to take some of that and to spread it around. So two helps us to connect to our emotions, to our emotional integrity from that point of view. Um, The hero today is the seven. So seven is that deeply spiritual number, remember? And seven is deeply spiritual because it has an inherent insecurity and fear of the future. Seven is an independent thinker. Seven is the one that connects to the big questions, not necessarily the big picture, but the questions of why am I here? 
What is this all about? Surely this is not actually all about me. What can I do to be of service to the world? And that's an amazing thing. However, I just want to however, because we tend to think, oh my God, seven sounds so amazing because seven is like, what can I do for the world? And how can I connect to that part of me that is beyond all this petty personality stuff? And one is like, check at me, check at me, look how amazing I am. So one then sounds like it's not such a great thing. It's not, because you cannot provide, a, a, you, you can only be of service to the world to the extent that you are of service to yourself. And one helps us to know that we need to put ourselves first. It's the first number. So it's firstly about you, and the more you can integrate yourself, the bigger and the more effective service you can deliver to the world. So seven really helps us to connect with that today. Seven is the loner. So there's a bit of a contrast here. One is all about people and chatting and connecting and networking. And seven is about, oh God, if I could just have five minutes alone. Seven needs to be alone to recharge. Seven needs to connect to nature, for example, to recharge. So if you find yourself feeling a bit frazzled from the one energy today, then take yourself out into nature. Find yourself a green space. Lie on the lawn. Go for a walk. Breathe deeply. Um, meditate for a couple minutes. Anything that can actually just bring a sense of quiet and like put you in a bit of a bubble, okay? That's really what the seven requires to be optimal today. The um, villain of today is the eight. So when we have a villain, the eight in the villain position, then we struggle to say no. We get out of integrity with ourselves. We shift our boundaries to such an extent that we just say yes when actually we don't mean yes at all. So then what we do is we abandon. In order to make someone else happy, you have to abandon yourself. Now, if someone asks you to do something and you're quite happy to do it, that is not an override of your boundaries. It's when someone asks you to do something and you say yes because you, you fear the repercussions of saying no. They're going to be miserable or they're going to think you're a bad person or you're not going to get approval. Um, that is abandoning yourself in order to please an authority. And that's the danger that we have today. That's the risk we run with the eight in the villain position. So be aware that you stay in integrity with yourself before you say yes to something that isn't actually for you or isn't in your best interests. You can harmonize safety energy lock number 19 by holding the thumb. So the thumb, remember, it has safety energy lock number one. I think it has number 19. Oh, it has quite a few safety. Uh, it has 16, the one we did earlier this week. So the thumb harmonizes the stomach and spleen organ function energy. It helps to harmonize the thinking and the feeling at function. It helps to bring it into balance. It helps to harmonize the stomach, as I said, and spleen and pancreas so that your digestion works more effectively. And it helps to calm down worry and anxiety and it also governs the surface of the skin and that is your external boundary with the world so if you need to toughen your boundaries a bit you can either hold safety energy lock number 19 remember or you can hold the thumb because that helps you to actually strengthen the boundaries the mental and emotional boundaries so that you can say no when something doesn't serve you i hope you have an amazing day and i'll speak to you again tomorrow